Okay, I've got a hundred berries, of which they should all be in here very soon. Come on, you get built. I just love the way the little pathways form automatically. You put, you put the, if you think about what you do, you zone it out for residents, and then the game decides where it's going to build things, and then they get built, and then the 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 peasants basically walk to and from the houses, and then the paths develop, and so it just all looks so natural. What's behind the black door? <gasps> We're inside the church. <laughs> What's the trader path next? Neat mechanic. You mean the way the trader comes through? That one. Like this. Here he comes. Yeah, because that wasn't there at the start of the game. That's just been forged. Let's have a look at the budget this time. Trade expense 100. We should have nine stones to sell and a hundred berries and we'll be buying bread. We're on 102 gold right now. Now we're on 129. Wait a minute. He only took 50 berries. What the heck, man? Sell all? Wow, can that guy only take 50 at a time? That sucks. It doesn't mention anything here about a maximum. But looking at what just happened. Kind of looks like he won't take more than 50. That's annoying. What happens if you put more than one warehouse down? If you have more than one warehouse, it says it on the trader. Hang on. Were you reading this? On here? Were you, were you reading that? Uh, Mr. Torsten... Let me try and get your name right. Torstenius? Thank you for your support. Welcome to the Nut House. Appreciate that. Thank you for the nutty welcome for Torstenius, guys. The trader himself. Ah, okay. So if you have more than one warehouse, will you get one trader visit both warehouses? Or will you end up with two traders and each one will visit a warehouse? Anybody know? Does it mean something that the green check mark on the fourth slot is not ticked? Dude. You're right. I had it on that because it was on stone and I was trying to empty it I think maybe he didn't take it because I didn't have that ticked that could be it we'll find out we will find out right can we get another dude over here now sign walker uh, stone cutter builder Get those stones cut. I might even make another one, you know. Because they seem to take the time building them. Do you know, I didn't realise it, it took five cloth to build one of those. Ah, 
How do you lift this thing up? I don't like seeing it sunk into the ground like that. You know, I don't know if this resource is running out. What's your favorite plane to fly IRL? Well, I've only ever flown... Are you talking about me flying them or passenger jet flying? Me flying them. I've only ever flown three planes myself. I've flown the Robin. I've flown a Cessna 172. And I've flown a PA-28 Warrior 2. And out of the three, the PA-28 is my favourite. Actually, technically I've flown a 152, which I really didn't like. Uh, Robin HR200. It's a French manufactured plane. That's what I did most of my hours in learning. Two seater. Let's see what happens with these berries this time. Why is that on zero? We've got so we've got loads of berries. These trees are disappearing quick. I don't like the way that's not filling up. You just missed the trader. What, he just came through and didn't take it? Wait, let me pause. We've got 200 gold. Well, we've got 200 gold. I'm going to make that work, sure. So we only took 50 then. So yeah, it looks like we are limited. Ever yeah, worry us with the boxes outside? Jeff, that's because it never rains, bro. We don't need to cover up. It never rains. It's 24 hours of sunshine in this place. Don't ask me where it is. Did I spell the wrong thing? Oh my god. I just wasted 200 gold. I bought a weaver hut which cost 200 gold and then demolished it and currently you get absolutely nothing back for it. I don't know when the last save was. Auto save. Which auto save are we on? Auto save 32? We could try it. What day are we on? We're on week 17, day 2. See what happens. Week 16, day 5. Okay, that'll do. So there's no point doing this. Because this doesn't do anything. 
He won't take them anyway. I think I was building another. We just built another one of these, didn't we? It's about to go horribly wrong, why? So anyway, bottom line is we can build a tailor's workshop. These two buildings should earn a lot of money. Welcome to the nut house. It is very organic, Bodra, I agree. Innocuous barrel. Thank you very much for your support. Can we give an innocuous barrel a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your sub, dude. OS4. Uh, oh, to be 25 again. Thanks for the great content. Just think, when you was like 15 years old, you thought 25-year-olds were ancient. <laughs> it's all relative. Welcome Double sub, Apple the apple on the apex apple on the apex i'm thinking maybe a racer can we give apple on the apex a nutty welcome thank you for the support apple now we've got two apples in the nut house hmm. so we may as well just not bother with yeah i'm going to set this to cloth because we're going to be making clothes soon anyway once this is up and running. Is it two new scruffs? Your pizza's arrived. You don't like about pizza. Like, you, you can just find yourself 11 o'clock at night, half 11 at night, and you're hungry, and you just... Pizza. It's just the best thing. It's so easy and quick. 15 minutes later, hot pizza. Insta food. Spiglet36 making it a triple sub. Can we give Spiglet a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support, Spiglet. Triple sub. Have you never heard of Mixer Director? These trees are just completely vanishing. Look at this. Building complete stonemason hut. Nice sign. Make some more of those stones. What I like about Peter Dave is you can just put it in the freezer and it'll just sit there exactly until you need it. And then, like I say, 15 minutes instant food. That sound is quite soothing. It's got a rhythm to it. I like it. <laughs> uh, tools. We've we got tools. <gasps> Rip. We don't have any tools. Oh, rip. We need tools. One sec. Uh, tools. Trade. Buy. Let's make sure. Let's get, like, how much are tools? Ten. Ten? Pff, it's going to cost a hundred gold just for that. Alvesia is leaving due to unhappiness. <laughs> Brilliant. Somebody's actually leaving. That's amazing. 
I can't blame them, to be honest. I wouldn't live here. <laughs> Can we all stand at the, uh, at the on the road? Where is he? Can we all shout good riddance as he leaves? Where is he? We we're just leaving due to unhappiness. How are we supposed to make him happy exactly? Base happiness, global needs filling happiness 50. Is it this one? Oh, hang on. I lacked what? Is that food? Forager? A forager that's lacking food? I lacked... That is a food symbol, isn't it? How can we be lacking food in this place? We've got, we've got 148 berries. Was it... Wait a second. No, we don't need you. We don't want you doing that. Actually, yeah, we do want you doing that. Some clothing. Another one's leaving. What is going on? Where's the... Wait, what? Where's Hildegard? People are leaving because they can't buy food because Hildegard's gone AWOL. What on earth is going on? Welcome back, Nutter. They only have access to bread. Do you know what? We're just gonna go back to berries and the whole mark and the whole bread trading thing. We're gonna sack that. I know we can make money out of it, but right now I don't need that hassle. I don't need the hassle of losing people due to lack of food. So forget that bread thing. Make sure we've always got like, I don't know, six six tools in stock. Okay, so this should be nearly completed now. Are all your berries set to trade now? If you look at the berry thing, we sell anything above 20. I don't know what is a sensible minimum. Let's say 30. No, it's because I had it on bread only, so... Um, yeah, we just lost some people. Well, we learned something though, didn't we? We learned something. Come on, finish this off. I need to get the clothing. I need to get Primark online. Dress our villagers in, like, fake Nike gear. Might need another um, sheep farm soon. Oh, then Alex, how you doing, bro? Uh, the paths are organic. No, uh, no, no names left. The paths are organic. They completely. You'll see what happens when when this is made. You'll see uh, that path will just form itself. It's based on where people walk. We have ten tools, but we're not actually. You know what? They, they really want me to deliver this, don't they? Can we actually buy that stuff? Fish. Is it fish they're after? What? They want 20 fish, and each fish is sold for 100 gold. Just run that by me again. A piece of clothing sells for 10 gold. And a fish sells for a hundred gold. I kind of wish I'd have gone for that coastal map now. <laughs> what on earth is wrong with this economy? I'm not buying two, like 2,000 golds worth of fish to send to the king. It's just not going to happen. 
Just no. Like the best sushi ever. They're like four map options, I think, Kirby. There was a hill one, a coastal one, I think a mountainous one, and something else. Waiting for builder. Why do we not have a builder? I know why. It's because people left. That's what it is. Right. Because people left, we've become a bit short staffed. Mistakes were made in management. What are my thoughts about the game, Alex? Um, bear in mind, I've been playing it only a few hours. It took a little bit of getting used to. I had to throw away the very first game because I didn't build a market quickly enough. And then we, we got ourselves into a situation where we needed gold to buy a market and we needed the market to get gold. So we kind of got in a circular loop of doom. Um, but apart from that, I've been having fun just working out how to play it. Some of the economy seems a little bit weird. Um, trees become a bit of a problem, that's for sure. The stone so far seems endless, but the trees are not. And you have to keep replanting them. And the forestry to do it costs a fortune. Uh, fish sell for a ridiculous amount of money. Like, absolutely ridiculous. 100 gold to buy a fish. Which doesn't make any sense, considering a piece of clothing costs 10. And that's based off weaving it and then getting it off a sheep. So fish, which you just pull out the water, is like a hundred gold. Yeah, for one fish. Look. See? They sell fish for 100 gold. They sell bread for 10. But if you want to sell them clothing, they'll give you 10 for it. Herbs, they'll give you 20. Glass for 50, but fish for 100. Fish is worth twice as much as glass. Because, <laughs> you know, one comes out of the water, the other one has to be smelted. <laughs> but hey. If you go to the coast and map the cloth is 100, that just doesn't make any sense. It, it's obviously a luxury good. Obviously. I don't know how far the technology goes, Dave, to be honest with you, mate. I've only played it a few hours, and this is as far as I've got. Right, we've finally got the tailor's workshop. So we'll have to take the builder offline now. Emily the builder is now going to be a tailor. The graphics are cute, though. We probably need some more models of um, peasants. And it'd be kind of nice to click on one of these and then, you know, they've got like a follow. It'd be nice to have a first person follow so you can sort of walk around your village like this. That could be fun. Bottom trading panel, does it say... Does it say fish is 10? In the bottom trading panel. Uh, I, I don't know what you mean. Up in the hills, fish are rather expensive. Yeah, but not that expensive. Uh, the sheep are the sheep are cool. They they come out looking a bit like this, and then they grow to they look like this, and then the shepherd turns up with a massive mallet and shears them. Which that's a skill. Let's be honest. I would have real difficulty shearing a sheep with a mallet. But this guy can do it. I'm just waiting for him to turn up. I think he's gone. He's gone AWOL. I think they go to church quite a bit. Is this him? This might be him. I wish you could check. What? Watch this. Oh, he's not got his mallet. Where's your mallet gone, bro? Oh, he doesn't have a mallet anymore. He just does it with his bare hands. It looks like he's milking a cow to me. He had a mallet, but now he's just, his hands are so good, he can just rip the hair off. <laughs> <laughs> 
One thing, I would love to be able to um, name the characters. That would be fun. The new building is unlocked. We're not going to tell you what it is, but we've unlocked it. A decorative tree, a road sign, a fence. Church, wooden bridge, and market. Um, windmill, bakery. Still need to get into this whole baking thing. The money's going up nicely now. We're starting to make some uh, some dollar. Let's have a look at the budget. So our upkeep cost is 98. Chunk of which is running the warehouse, which is insane. 25 for that. 25 gold just to have that space to put things in. But you have to have it, otherwise you can't trade. Uh, expenses, 35 on the warehouse. Is this like this year, last year? Like, it's it's hard to work out what we're looking at here. What's this compared to that? Total 230, total 52. 230 so far, so maybe this is this year and this is the previous, I don't know. No, I haven't got a tax house yet. We haven't unlocked that yet. Nor have we got the uh, iron ore and that kind of thing. I think we need to do some of these to do it, you see. We're going to have to buy fish and please these people. Current income and total income. I don't know, they both say total. There's literally nothing to distinguish it apart from that just changed. That just reset and this one didn't. Yeah, it's still an alpha. I mean, this is not a finished game by a long way. Right, the trees are going to become a problem again. So I'm going to have to think about forestation again. is a lumber camp 20 and five tools we have five tools available so if i put a lumber camp over here and then move the workers from there to there that should speed things up a little bit Yeah, it does say that the economy is not balanced and it is susceptible to crashing and stuff. The trees force you to buy new land, they really do. And buying new land costs 500 gold per sector. So yeah, we could buy this for 500 gold. Or that for 500 gold. Or that for 500 gold. Or even this, which has got the mining in it. And that has a lot of trees. But that means it's a big walk. I think we need to make more money before we buy another sector. Certainly the polished stone is helping to make money. A villager is leaving due to unhappiness. Now, this is something that keeps happening, and I don't know why. Now I need to try and figure out which one it was. That one. Food again. Okay, this, this is a massive issue. There's like another one leaving. to buy food. Welcome back, Nutter. I think we maybe need to, I don't know, keep more food. I've got 66 food. This is weird. Do we just, 
Do we just need another market, maybe, to sell food in? Happy anniversary. The problem is when people leave, is I, I run out of workers to actually get people to sell. <laughs> you need a worker to stand there and sell stuff. It might be happening when they go to church or something. Yod, thanks for half a year, Yod. Gassed us for 16 months. Thank you, guys. I don't think it's something to be able to do with fawn and get fawn. I don't think it's that at all. Um. Luxury market up front cost 50. It doesn't tell me what the luxury market sells. You have to start farming and baking bread to have a different kind of food. Yeah, it could be. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. Assuming it's not the amount of food that's causing the problem, it could be the lack of availability of the market. And apart from that, it has to be a food variety, but I don't know which it is. Thing is, I can't really start making bread because I need farmers, I need windmill workers, and then I need bakers. And I don't have the people to do all that. This is going to cost 50 gold to build another food market. Do I risk it for a biscuit? Create another sell point. Interesting how you can't join it onto that one. Okay, now we need a builder. I think we had a builder. Yep, we had a builder who was a forager. Let's change the amount of food that we keep back as well. So we'll say only sell everything over 50 or something like that. The other alternative is we start buying bread back in, which does make a profit anyway. So we've got a bit of money now, we could start sort of bringing in like 20 bread at a time. Let's tick that. Make this one sell the bread and that one sell the berries. I didn't know they'd done that, Yoshi. I think it's Yoshi. I've still not seen any release notes about that. Only that forum post. It's a bit weird. I don't believe you can make food from the sheep now. I don't think so. Two new villages have arrived. Yay! Do you know what the other thing could be? They don't have enough places to live. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If they don't have enough residential areas, that they'll get unhappy. So there could be that as well. Let's see what happens. Uh, Hand of Spur, thank you for the bits. I've asked myself a question yesterday. I said, I said, self, why do you always have to watch Squirrel Plus? Then I fall asleep and miss the rest of the stream. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. T 
Time for some kebab, you scumbag. Sorry, Bordro. Right, so if we say you sell bread. Where's the two new villages? If you look at the food there, it says berries, bread, and fish. Yeah, you can. I don't think I need to because they would have built here by now if they needed it. Here's the walkers. I've got 20 bread. We just need to sell it. Like that. Okay, that should bring some money back. Come on, Victoria, get selling. Unlock the wooden keep, unlock the wooden wall. Unlock the Fisher's Hut or the Lord Manor. I'm gonna... I'm gonna unlock the Lord Manor. I don't know what it does. But... It sounds good. Your very own manor! <laughs> Maintenance, five gold. Estate influence, plus one. Oh boy. Core of the manor. Wait, how do you lift this thing up again? Somebody said how you lift this up. It's not the alt key. It's not the control key. That's just that. It's not the shift key. Yeah, I know it's Benji too. That's what I'm saying. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. They don't usually do that. That's what I'm saying. You think the land value appeal drops on distance to the well and or market? Possibly. A small treasury. <laughs> a small expansion of the treasury capacity of your coffers. <laughs> what? Tower. This is amazing. What did it say, Donut? Because I've not read it. How much is that going to cost? 75 planks. That's a lot. Maintenance of 9 gold. Can you drag the size now that it's dropped? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you lift this thing up. It has these snap points. Or a treasury at the back. Well, the green arrows just seem to tell you about orientation. I don't know. Unless you can do it. do it with the cursor keys, but that doesn't do anything. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Look at the cost. It's like the Tower of War, thank. I will watch you all. I will watch in my dominion. Make sure you work. <laughs> the all-seeing eye of Lord Squirrel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'd hate to walk up the stairs to my bed. <laughs> Must be the tallest building in town. It's the rule. <laughs> you may not build anything taller than this. <laughs> That's like 95 planks to the maintenance of 13.